Okie dokie artichokey. We're going to do a little art project here. I'm, uh, I do have a head. Uh, so we're uh, going to do an undersea art project and this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to draw it first, then we're going to outline, then we're going to color just like we did with the Ted Harrison art uh, a little while ago. Now I'm going to use markers so that you can see it, uh, but when you're doing this first you're going to draw just with pencil, then outline after, and then color it with pencil, crayon, or crayon. That's the best uh, use of color there because uh, uh, you want the outline to stand out a little bit. Okay, like I say, I'm using a marker to start uh, just because uh, you don't want to see me draw a pencil and then outline it takes quite a long time and you wouldn't be able to see the pencil lines so I'm going to use a marker to start so you can see what I'm doing. So underwater art, we're going to use our animals that we've been using so we're going to draw a squid, we're going to use our crab and we're going to use our turtle that we've been uh, working on the last couple of days. First thing I want to do on, our, on my page though is I'm going to give it some perspective. Okay, so uh, I'm going to establish a top and a bottom here to this undersea art project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some waves going here at the top. Just kind of like that. Just little V's kind of. Upside down V's I should say. And that'll give it a top side for my art. And again, it's up to you whether you want to go landscape or portrait on this. I'm going uh, landscape, uh, not portrait, so landscape uh, sideways, not portrait, so landscape this way, port, or sorry, this would be, <laughs> this is landscape, turning the other way would be portrait. So uh, I'm going uh, landscape on this just to give me some more room. Now you don't have to draw, or you don't have to write draw outline and color there. I just put that there for your guidance. Uh, and so. Now I've got a top perspective, I'm going to do a bottom perspective now too, so I've got waves at the top. At the bottom I'm just going to use my brown here to draw some sand. Okay, so that's the bottom of my ocean. Okay, and so I just used a brown there uh, so you can see it. And so now I'm going to draw my animals inside uh, the bottom and top here. I'm going to draw my turtle, I'm going to draw my squid, and I'm going to draw my crab. I'm going to start with the crab uh, because that, again, is probably the easiest one. And I'm just going to remind myself of how to draw it. So first of all, I think we started with, and I'm going to draw the crab on the sand here. I think we started with just kind of like an oval, like so there. All right, there we go. Good. All right, so there's his oval. And then just two lines coming out for his pinchers. So like so, remember how his pinchers look, they're like two little leaves, that's not bad, okay, draw another one, there we go, we got the pinchers there, and again, if I'm going too fast, pause the video, okay, we've got our pinchers now, let me remind myself of how this is drawn, yeah, we remember now that the crab has eight legs, so four on one side, and then four on the other side. There we go. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to put some eyes on our guy here. So two little lines here. We're getting there. It's getting together. Put the eyes on the top. I'm just going to have my uh, crab staring straight ahead. So I'm going to just put the pupils right kind of in the middle here. There we go. We got our crab. So the first step is our crab in the sand uh, where he belongs. Oh, I forgot. Well, let's give him a little smile little you for a smile because he's happy. He's in uh, his surroundings. Uh, he's in the ocean. All right, let's move on to our squid now. All right, so the squid starts fairly easily. I'm going to put my, now it's up to you where you put your uh, sea animals here. I'm going to put my squid kind of near the top here and I'm going to start real simple with a triangle. Nice simple shapes uh, to start. Excellent. All right, now I'm going to draw the squid's body here which again is that kind of rounded oval part that comes down and then kind of gets squared off there. Good, all right. Now, the tentacles, remember, we're drawing little lines like that for the tentacles. And then we're gonna couple or join them up, like so. Very nice. And then our squid needs some eyes, so we're going to put some eyes down here, and I'm going to have the squid looking 
at the crab. Maybe he wants to make him a meal. Uh oh, crabby, get out of the way. All right, so squid. We got to add some detail here, some circles. There we go. We got a nice uh, pair of eyes there. I'm going to draw a line here. Didn't do it before on the last one, but I'm going to separate the eyes from the rest of the body on the squid. All right, that's our squid. A couple more long tentacles. They kind of look like that. A little just loop on the end of that. Get one on both sides. All right, there's Squiddy. Done. All right, one more animal to do, and I gotta remind myself of how to do it because he's a tough one. One more. Where was he? We're gonna do. Oh, yeah, the turtle. All right. Let's do the turtle. Okay, so the turtle starts out with a kind of a petal here. Remember? Kind of like half a heart. I'm going to make a big turtle. There we go. Good. And then, so that's your body of the turtle. And then we're going to draw uh, another petal over here that's not connected. We're going to connect it afterwards. Sort of like so. And then we're going to connect it like that. So there's our turtle's body. There's our turtle's head. Excellent. I like it. Now let's draw a couple of flippers coming off of here. One there. One there, like so. And then our feet. Again, just like leaves. The feet are shaped like petals. Like so. Oh, I think I made my feet a little too small. That's okay, it's art. We're going to live with it. All right, so let's do a little bit of detail on the turtle's face now. A little smile, an eye. And then remember the shape that we're going to put on the turtle's back. It's a pentagon, so it's six sides. So one, two, three, three, four, and then five, six. There's our pentagon. Okay, and then we're going to draw another pentagon inside of it to mirror best and then draw lines connecting so line there 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 and then just fill in the spaces here now as you can tell I got a little close with my two pentagons there so hopefully you won't make that sorry I oh, yeah, have my two pentagons uh, my two hexagons excuse me uh, so hopefully you won't have the same issue there just a little bit too close. And now I'm going to finish off my lines here. There we go. All right, so, ah, looks okay. Uh, I think I made a better crab and a better uh, squid than turtle. I'm going to put some circles in here now. There we go. And what else? I think that's pretty well it. We can put a little more detail in here. Okay, now I want to connect my shell completely and totally to that hexagon. There we go. All right. There is our underwater art projects with all the animals we've been using. We've got our turtle, and uh, if you want, you can write names on them, or, but I think I'm going to just keep them in the ocean like this uh, and do some coloring. So draw, outline, color. Uh, there's your animals, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. It was kind of fun. Uh, I think my squid and my crab are a little bit better than my turtle, but hey, it was still fun doing it because it's art. It's creativity, and it can be whatever you want it to be. All right, have fun with that little art project today, my friends.